Hello guys this video is presented by SM Therapy. All about memory when it comes to Unboat memory, Vega is downright revolutionary just like its predecessor. AMD's current High-end graphics cards, the Radeon Fury series, brought cutting-edge high bandwidth Memory to the world. Vega carries on the torch with improved next-gen HBM2, bolstered by a New high bandwidth cache controller introduced by AMD. Technical limitations limited the first generation of HBM to a mere 4 GB of capacity, which in turn limited the Fury series to 4 GB of unbowed RAM. Thankfully, HBM's raw speed hit that floor in the vast majority of games, but now HBM2 tosses those shackles by the wayside. AMD hasn't officially confirmed Vega's capacity. But the overlay during the Doom demo revealed that particular graphics card packed 8GB of RAM. And that super fast RAM is getting even faster, with AMD's Joe Macri stating that HBM2 offers twice the bandwidth per pin of HBM1. But as it turns out, HBM was just the beginning. It's an evolutionary technology we can take through time, make it bigger, faster, make all these key improvements, said Macri a driving force behind HBM's creation. Vega builds on HBM's shoulders with the introduction of a new high bandwidth cache and high bandwidth cache controller, which combine to form what Radian boss Raja Kodari calls the world's most scalable GPU memory architecture. AMD crafted Vega's high bandwidth memory architecture to help propel memory design forward in a world where sheer graphics performance keeps improving by leaps and bounds, but memory capacities and capabilities have remained relatively static. The HB cache replaces the graphics card's traditional frame buffer, while the HB cache controller provides fine-grained control over data and supports a whopping 512 terabytes not gigabytes terabytes of virtual address space. Vega's HBM design can expand graphics memory beyond unbowed RAM to a more heterogeneous memory system capable of managing several memory sources at once. That's likely to make its biggest impact in professional applications, such as the new Radeon Instinct lineup or the cutting-edge Radeon Pro SSG card that graphed high capacity and memory directly to its graphics processor. This will allow us to Connect terabytes of memory to the GPU, David Waters, AMD's head of industry alliances, told PC World when the Radeon Pro SSG was revealed, and this new cache and controller. Architecture designed for HBM's blazing fast speeds should supercharge those capabilities. Even more. To drive the potential benefits home, AMD revealed a photorealistic recreation of Macri's home living room. The 600 GB scene normally takes hours to render, but the combination of Vega's prowess and the new HBM2 architecture pumps it out in mere minutes. AMD even allowed journalists to move the camera around the room in real time, albeit somewhat sluggishly. It was an eye-opening demo. Coddery stressed that games can also benefit from the high bandwidth cache controller's fine-grained dynamic data management citing which are 3 and Fallout 4, each of which actually use less than half of the memory allocated by the games when they are running at 4K resolution. And those are well optimized. Games he said. Memory demands are only getting greedier in high profile games, and doubly. So at bleeding edge resolutions. Here's hoping that the HB cache's finer controls paired. With HBM sheer speed and other tweaks we'll discuss later in this article. That's somewhat. AMD also says that future generations of games could take advantage of high bandwidth memory design to upload large data sets directly to the graphics processor, rather than handling it with a more hands-on approach as done today. Thank you for watching my video.